Hey homies, what's shaking? So today I got another 3D printer the GearBest sent to me. This is the TiVo Michelangelo. And this is really cool because it's just like a little like desktop printer. It's very similar to the Creality Ender 2 if you're familiar with that printer. But yeah, it's it's like basically just like that big and then it's got like the gantry that comes up about this high. So it's so small you can actually like, you know, it's kind of like portable. You can just throw it in your car or whatever. But yeah, so I guess let's just open it up and... Uh, take a look at it, but it's really cool too because this comes almost all the way assembled. So it's gonna be super, super easy video and uh, we should be able to start printing within the next like 20 minutes. So let me get a little better angle so you can see, see me open the box a little better. And yeah. Okay guys, so let's unbox this thing. One thing I've always thought is that TiVo does a great job with just how they package everything. It's always really nice. Like the tornado came just like Really, really nice. This is probably gonna be the same type of same type of deal here. Okay, so here's the box, and it's got a nice laser. They do like all laser cut foam. It's really cool. So there's just a couple just flat pieces on top here, and then we got our full instruction manual. So one of the few companies that that gives an actual instruction manual. I think the only other company that does that I know of is AnyCubic. So TiVo and AnyCubic. There's one thing they definitely got going, right? Here we got just some, uh, looks like just feet for the bottom of the printer. And then I'm not quite sure what that is, but I think these are just feet for the bottom. So put that over there. And then right here we got our US power cord. You can pick US or European, whatever. SD card. Uh, on the SD card, there'll also be directions as well as test prints and all that fun stuff. So really cool. Couple of screwdrivers. And uh, cool. And our little cord that I have a hundred of those things. Okay, so I guess, let's see, how should I do this? Should I just, maybe I'll cut the box. All right, let's rip it. Eh, we'll cut it. We got a knife right here. This is extremely sharp because it's brand new. Okay, so let's just make it a little, Really easier to see what I'm doing here. Okay, so yeah, it does look like the foam is all cut. So I think I need to put, yeah, okay. So once I get this piece off, okay. Then I can kind of just do one of these. So look at, like you could, this is crazy. This, this could have been in a car accident on the way here and it would have been fine. Like it's, I've never ever, well, I guess the tornado is, kind of like this but this is this is ridiculous like i mean this is a they did amazing this is the best packaging i've ever seen on a 3d printer so tivo killing the game right there okay so i think it was okay i just picked it up by that it didn't feel it felt very solid uh okay so that's all garbage and uh blue and frame here okay so that printer looks, uh, I mean, it does pretty much look like it. Plug it in, ready to go. Um, obviously, we're going to have to take it inside before that, but let me finish getting off all this foam. So, extremely impressed with the packaging. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, they, they, TiVo did a killer job on the packaging, as well as having the instruction manual, which I'll open in a second to show you guys. They actually... I mean, for the most part, these pretty pretty good English usually, at least on the other ones. Here we got a little card on it. Uh, not really want it. Here we got our instruction manual. So usually they're in pretty good English too. Like they even have like fine tuning. They got like everything about it, how to use the software. So if you're a total beginner, you know, this will definitely help. Nice long, yeah, I mean, the English looks good to me. I mean, I'm, I don't speak that good English, I guess, so better than, just as good as me. So, cool. Gives you recommended slicer settings and all that jazz. So, yeah, really good. Um, how to flash the firmware if you need to reflash the firmware or anything. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I guarantee it's got to come with firmware already on it. But, you know, in case you want to add, a, you know do some modification to your firmware. It's got instructions how to do that too, so very cool. And, um, yeah, I think that is that. Let's check our belts. Uh, this belt's pretty tight. Uh, 
Yeah, it feels. Feels pretty good. Get a slight adjustment on that. Um, this belt. This belt could be tightened up maybe a little. Maybe I'll tighten up this a little, but overall it looks uh, very nice. Oh, that's that's that one. I was like, what is that thing? That's the knob. So I take it. This goes, yeah, right there. Okay, so that's the knob. Has a good click to it. Oh, really cool. And uh, yeah, so these are the feet. The feet are just gonna screw on. So I think that's. The only assembly, so I'm gonna screw the legs on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it's all put together. Let me show you a couple things I really like about this right off the bat. First off, I like how it has a full size SD card, not micro SD card. Um, the belt, it was very easy to tighten. All I did was I took these two screws here and I loosened them up a bit and I pulled on this and tightened them back down. Now it's perfect. It feels you know, really, really nice. Everything seems to be moving really smooth. And yeah, it's got a TiVo Titan extruder, so I'm really digging that. Um, the end stops here, the Z end stop is adjustable. So, very cool. And uh, this one, you know, the, the, I don't know if it's adjustable or not, but it looks like it's, you know, you're never gonna really need to change that anyways. But the only thing I'm not liking so far is I'm noticing there's no spool holder. So let's go inside, let's fire it up. Let's see what our menu looks like here and everything. TiVo always does a cool thing, like the tornado had like a tornado on it. And, uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know. It's Michelangelo, so it should have something. But yeah, let's uh, go inside and check it out. I'll have to use a different spool holder or just put my filament next to it. But other than that, so far I'm really digging it. So let's go inside. Okay, guys, so I uh, threw some pink PLA in here and let's see how it looks when I fire it up. <laughs> Very cool. So, you know, not too loud, quieter than most of my printers. Um, pretty standard. Okay, so it's got like uh, this bed leveling feature where it's it's not, it's like assisted bed leveling. So you go to bed leveling. And then here's how it looks when it auto homes. It actually moves around like a lot of authority. It's pretty quick. And then here, so we're gonna. It basically just goes through the four spots: the home right, the front right, front left, rear right and rear left so then you just you know you just use your piece of paper and i already did that real quick off camera here so we got all that figured out we got it all loaded up with some pla so we got two i saw it came with two test prints this ripple test and test.g code so we'll do these two and then i'll start firing off the rest of mine and i'll tell you guys what i think about this but overall so far i am loving the build quality of this thing but the only downside is you need some type of spool holder. I just took my TiVo Tornado one and put it sideways. It seems to be working fine. But I'm sure on Thingiverse there's some to like mod to put on here. So I'm going to look those up. But in the meantime, we're going to use that. So first let's try this Ripple one. So let's start it off and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, I got my other camera filming the time lapse of the test print. But I think I'm going to just kill it because I don't really like the way that it's configured for this test print. I want to make my own settings. And uh, it's just some stupid wave, you know, it's something I'm just going to throw in the garbage. So I don't want to waste the filament and uh, use up space in a landfill. But anyways, yeah, it, it's printing good and everything. The one thing I didn't notice still right now though is this printer has two part cooling fans. So it has one on each side. So I'm extremely impressed with the stock design and the part cooling fans. I know like the Ender doesn't even have a part cooling fan at all. And then this one has it on both sides. So that's kind of like an upgrade people usually do to their printers down the road like you can see like on my TiVo I got a fang on that one you know it's, this has a stock already something kind of like it so I'm really impressed with that so I'm gonna kill this print and uh, the time lapses I'll show you will be things that I sliced myself
right guys, so I've had this for two, like two, three days now, and you know, my overall thoughts on it is it's actually really nice. Um, the fact that it's, everything's comes, you know, pre-assembled, if you're a total beginner, this is, would be actually really nice, because you wouldn't have to assemble anything at all. And yeah, pretty much anything in the $200 price range is gonna be a DIY kit. You're gonna be able to get larger printers, but everything's gonna be something you're gonna have to put together yourself, so, which I, I don't mind. You know, I think that's a good way to learn about printers and everything, but at the same time, you know, if, you, if you're somebody that's not good at building stuff or you're really intimidated with that, it would be better to just start on something like this. I love the fact that it has the cooling fans. Because it has the park cooling fans, you're able to run it at a uh, hotter temperature coming out of here. Like, I was able to print my filament at, like, 220, which for PLA is actually really hot. And it, it wasn't stringing or anything. I've only done, uh, I did two of these Kirby's because I gave one away to somebody at work. But I've done that, the Groot, and that's really all I've had time to print on this. But everything was printing great. I was using rafts and also spraying it with a little bit of hairspray because it does not have a heated bed. So you're gonna want, you know, I was doing like little extra things to make sure the parts would stick. But um, yeah, as long as you put a little glue stick on there or hairspray, it, it'll be fine. I do wish it had a heated bed, but that's not the end of the world. The one thing I, I really don't get is why they didn't include a spool holder. So it wasn't the end of the world. It worked fine just uh, sitting next to it, actually, like this. I put my t Tivor Tornado spool holder sideways, and it, it worked great. But, yeah, I'm going to go on Thingiverse and see if someone designed something for it. But I wish it came with the spool holder, but at $209, I mean, you can't really complain about something that you can just print like that. So, yeah, other than that, I don't think I really need to do any upgrades besides a spool holder because, you know, it's got the two cooling fans, and uh, it, it prints great right out of the box. I did some of these test prints over my girlfriend's house. I was able to just take the printer, throw it in the seat of my car, drive it over there. The bed didn't even come unleveled. I never leveled the bed besides the first time I did it. And yeah, that's just really cool. It's the only printer that I own that I could do that with. Um, you know, sometimes it is nice to print, you know, really big things, but most of the things I print aren't that big, like most of the time, or at least big enough for here. I mean, it is a small printer, but like if I was to like raise the, the Z axis all the way up, like, I mean, it's not that small. I mean, you could still print. You could still print pretty decent size on there. I mean, let's go a little higher. So I have a lot of like cords back here. I'm, this is all greasy. Okay, so that's, I mean, that's still pretty decent size. I mean, it's not crazy, crazy big, not crazy small. But um, yeah, I think if you're want to buy one for one of your kids or something this would be a great option because you're not if you had say you have like a i don't know a 13 year old son or daughter or whatever and they want to get a 3d printer you're not you know you're probably not going to want to get them like a 250 piece diy kit where they got to put together the circuit board and flash the firmware and all that all that junk i mean this thing 209 bucks shows up at your door ready to go um basically as easy as possible tivo actually has pretty good customer service i've had i've dealt with them in the past um and uh, yeah, they've been really good, and uh, yeah, so that's awesome. But this is a very solid machine. I don't see anything going wrong on this thing anyways. But yeah, so once again, for $209, it's actually a really, really good good deal. I mean, this is a pretty cool little printer. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna continue to continue to print with it. I wanna check out some other printers very similar to it. So if you have other like desktop type printers like this that you wanna see me review or you wanna see me put up against this one, um, yeah, let me know in the comments which ones, and I'd love to check those out too. So thank you, Gearbest, for hooking it up with this sweet printer. Thank you, all you guys that watched the whole video. Uh, you guys are too cool. And, uh, yeah, I guess until next time, I'll see you later, and I'm going to get back to printing.